A happy Wednesday to all fellow pilots. How's it going guys? Isn't it exciting to play Microsoft Flight Simulator? I mean, I can't imagine flying all over my hometown, many different cities and really seeing things in a different perspective. I want to say something. I was so surprised to see the nearest Costco right up from the air. How about that? Before anything, I would like to welcome you to the channel and please don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button to make sure you get notified for future releases. So guess what the latest update is about? It's about jets. Again, jets and a few more planes. Developers have gone crazy above and beyond trying to develop the best products for us so that we can enjoy Microsoft Flight Simulator. Under military jets guys, we have Dino Cataneo and his team as well as DC Designs who are extremely great at making detailed jets. So far for this week, DC Designs have been working pretty hard not only on their Concorde, also on the F-14 Tomcat. Now that was already announced last week in one of my videos. The latest update from DC Designs is that they are currently working on the F-15C which is one of their upcoming projects. We should expect to see the F-15C Eagle pretty much soon because they have been making progress on this design. Testing has already begun for the Concorde plane model under DC Designs and hopefully should be released soon. We don't have the exact date on when. Dino Cataneo and his team have been currently working on their developments for the Air Mackie MB339. This is an Italian jet a beautiful jet that has been in production since the 70s, mainly under the Italian Air Force. So it looks like there might be two versions of this jet, which is the light version as well as the pro version. The light version would be limited to utilizing simpler systems that are based on default Microsoft Flight Simulator systems. The pro version, however, would have much more capacities that involve custom systems and advanced flight model controls. The pro version, however, might be released sometime early next year. The good news is that the MB339 light version could be possibly released in September this year. The M346 is another beautiful jet which is actually called the Air Marquis M346 Master. So this is basically a military twin engine transonic trainer aircraft and the developments are currently working on this to ensure that they would be complete improvements as well as updates. The developers are pretty confident that this is quite a model that could be released sooner. Again, we don't have a specific date for the release. The team have been working on various areas for this model to ensure that there is accurate description of the model. This involves fixing minor glitches in 2D graphics, adding primers in the livery, tow brake animation, custom slat animation, improved geometry for some minor details and many more areas. One of the interesting planes that have been working by the same developer is the Rutan Long Easy. This is a home-built aircraft originally with a layout that's been designed by Bird Rutan's Rutan Aircraft Factory built in the United States has a clean sheet scaled up redesign of its predecessor, the Very Easy. The developers have been working constantly for this model and would be released most likely soon. One of the impressive things of Microsoft Flight Simulator is that developers when they work on their planes or when they try to port planes that have been prepared for Prepare 3D or X-Plane or even FSX for that matter would not just be converted or transferred to the new simulator. They basically go through a different process that involves conversion 3D assets to the new simulator in order to meet SDK capabilities, the time for development and also the quality at the end of the day. So pretty much that's the update for today. We have four different new planes, mostly jets, that would always be fun to try. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more updates in the future, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Have a good rest of the day and stay tuned guys.